Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, since it's after 12. Um, today, I told you, or I told you that I was going to talk to you about chapped, cracked, or dry skin and uh, clogged pores. And if I had time, I was going to talk to you about cuts, scrapes, and wounds. So, I also forgot to mention it. I'm Marcia, and this is Oils and Wellness with Marcia, in case you're new and you don't know me. Um, so let's let's start talking about the another set of skin problems. Chapped, cracked, and dry skin. And my shirt says, warning, I may start talking about oils at any time. Okay. Dry skin results from a loss of protective lipid layer of the skin surface. It, it results from exposure of low humidity environments and is often more prevalent during the winter. Dry skin may also crack, creating an, op an opportunity for infection. And sometimes I get really, really dry skin on the bottom of my feet where they actually crack and it hurts and I believe that's what they're talking about on the cracked like on the heels of your feet I get that um, <clears throat> this says you can put la a lavender lip balm like you can also get chapped lips too because I get that as well but uh, you can do lip the lavender lip balm cinnamon mint lip balm grapefruit lip balm and vanilla vanilla mint lip balm that's for the chapped lips and and there's oils and creams you can use for your skin and different shampoos uh bath gels like lavender cooling mist essential beauty serum for dry skin tender tush for diaper rash boswella wrinkle cream sandalwood moisturizing cream rose ointment kids kid sense lotion Royal Hawaiian sandalwood soaps, Shutron bar soap, lavender tree moisturizing soap, dragon time bath and shower gel, evening peace bath and shower gel, morning start bath and shower gel, Sensa sensations bath and shower gel. Now for clogged pores, it says most skin blemishes begin with clogged pores. To have clock, uh, clean pores, you should maintain a regular skin care routine. If you keep your pores unclogged and clean, you will never have, you will have fewer breakouts and more beautiful skin. Um, says satin skin scrub. Mint is a gentle exfoliator designed to clarify skin and reduce acne. If its texture is too abrasive for your skin, mix it with a little orange blossom facial wash. This is excellent for those who, with severe or mild acne. Spread uh, scrub over your face and let it dry for perhaps five minutes and then to draw out the impurities Purify the t and toner the skin, toning the skin at the same time. Put a hot towel over your face and gently let it penetrate. Let penetration. Wash off with warm water by gently patting the with a uh, warm fa face cloth. If you do not have time to let the mask dry, gently massage in a circular motion for 30 seconds and then rinse. Afterward, apply sandalwood moisturizing cream and Bos or Boswellia wrinkle cream. That this will also help underneath foundation makeup. Now the cuts, scrapes, and wounds. It says when when selecting e essential oils for surface injuries, determine the needs of the entire body, not just the cut. Think through the cause and trying of and type of injury and select the oils for each aspect of the trauma. For instance, a wound 
could com incompose muscle damage, nerve damage, ligament damage, inflammation, infection, bone injury, fever, or possibly an, an emotion. Therefore, select an oil or blends that is specific for each injury, for each each time you need it. Um, maybe you're in a car wreck and you have a cut. Uh, you don't just want to put lavender on a cut. You, you know, you have trauma to to your your emotions because of what went on to make the wreck happen, or you have uh, all kinds of injuries. Maybe you twisted your ankle and uh, it's all swollen, and you want to get rid of the pain and make the swelling go down, and then you find out it's broke. So you know you have the bones, your ligaments, uh, m the muscle, the swelling, the tenderness, you know, all that. You need to find something that would fit all those things when you put it on your skin. Um, for bruises and scrapes, you, a blend you can mix to put on bruises and and scrapes that it says four drops lavender and, and one drop citrus and one drop myrrh and that can be used on infants and babies and children now if you have an infected cut and if you, you can use seven drops of geranium five drops of myrrh and three drops of tea tree and now i'm going to share with you a first aid spray that you can mix with essential oils and keep it in your cabinet and use it when you have the different problems, uh, cuts and scrapes and uh, things for first aid. The first aid recipe is five drops lavender, three drops tea tree, and two drops Dorado Azul. That's D-O-R-A-D-O Azul, A-Z-U-L. Mix the recipe above thoroughly in one half teaspoon of salt. Add this to eight ounces of distilled water and shake vigorously and then pour into a uh, spray bottle. Spray the minor cuts and wounds before applying the bandages. Repre repeat two to three times a day for three days. Continue the healing process by applying one to two drops of tea tree oil to the wound daily for the next few days. Apply rose ointment or tender tush to keep the scrape soft and to help prevent scarring. Now animal scents, it's called animal scents because it's an ointment you put on cuts and scrapes and bites and things on animals when they have wounds, but you can also use it for humans. The animal scents works extremely well for any animal and it is also very effective for any person who wishes to cover a large area such as the bottom of your feet. When uh, when working at, on rough conditions such as the cold outdoors, construction or building, or anything that is abrasive to the hands, add a few drops to a recipe and to a tablespoon of animal scents or rose ointment and use it throughout the day. To relieve the pain and, and the ache of small cuts, scrapes on the skin. So animal scents would be a great to mix with your lavender. Lavender is really good for cuts and scrapes. And your citrus and your myrrh. And you mix that with your animal scents. And the animal scents will keep the it keep it moist so that it don't dry out while the oils are working there to, to heal the and protect the skin from the cuts. And I think I'm going to have to get some of that for my feet. Anyway, that's that's my talk for today. Um, if you need more information or you have any questions whatsoever, please don't don't be afraid to, to ask in the comments. I will do my best to answer. And sometimes I don't get my uh, comments answered on the spot because I just found found out I had some some of the videos that we make a long time ago. People are just now watching, I guess, and I had comments I didn't know I had. So sometimes I have to backtrack to all my comments, uh, to all my 
videos I've made and go through them because there's some of them that I've missed that someone's watched since I posted it. So I apologize if I don't get it that very fast. But if you want it immediate and I don't get to it fast enough on my channel, go through email and I can do either way. Tomorrow I'll be talking to you about eczema, 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 yeah, dermatitis, diaper rash, and then fungal infections, fungal skin infections, and then we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Anyway, I hope I helped somebody today, and if I did, please smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you already have, share it with somebody. Let somebody that might have cracked skin and that needs help that they haven't figured out how to a faster way of healing it and, or whatever share this with your friends and let them know that there's something out there that they can do besides what they did and maybe be better for them or maybe they can stick with what they have whatever makes each person happy is all that matters so share this with your friends smash the like button and i'll see you guys tomorrow Ta-ta.